I've attempted to do this video a number of times, but it, it just keeps coming out way too long. So um, I just want to let you know that um, I was in the need of having to use a, uh, a net spend card because I had some fraud on my uh, Bank of America account, which I've had that account for 35 years. Uh, we are parting company. However, um, just so that you can see, I purchased the card. Let me move this over on January 23rd. Okay, it cost me um, three dollars and ninety-five cents and four dollars and ninety-five cents to load. I loaded some on the 23rd. I loaded more on the 24th. That was another four dollars and ninety-five cents. So already we're up to let's look at four ninety-five times two plus. 395 for the purchase. Okay, now just so that you can see here, you'll see pin transactions and signature transactions. I try to do everything with a signature tra uh, signature transaction because that's only one dollar. But there's some um, of the machines that you'll swipe and it reads it as a debit card and it doesn't give you the choice. You can't do it as a as a um, as a uh, signature purchase for a dollar you have to put in your pen and that's two dollars so as you can see here we just go up here you can see pin purchase pin purchase uh, signature purchase pin purchase pin purchase all these things when I add them up the two dollars for the uh, signature purchase and the one dollar for the um, uh, no the what the two dollars for the uh, the pin purchase and a dollar for the signature purchase as you can see so many so many so many so many okay all right this totaled over the past I guess that's 43 days as we can see the last most recent one was at the Hess gas station last night this all totaled seventy seven dollars and ninety cents in fees seventy seven dollars and ninety cents in fees so there you have it um, those same purchases that I made when I make that with the Zetegrity C black card they would have cost me two dollars to make a withdrawal from an ATM that costs five dollars and fifty cents net spend char uh, uh, charges you three dollars for that withdrawal and the ATM 250 and now if I had gone down to the Chase Bank uh, in Pauling they charge 350 so that would have cost me six dollars and fifty cents crazy so there you have it guys what we have here is so powerful very 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 exciting talk to you soon don't forget what card would you like to have in your wallet